that numbness creeps up on you slowly. You begin to struggle with small things, but tend to ignore them. It's just another bad day, you tell yourself, but it isn't. Sometimes you struggle every morning for weeks or even months. It's like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and it refuses to let you breathe. It's an inexplicable heaviness that's invisible to the human eye. And yet, you become so good at putting on that social mask that nothing faces you. Because it's what you have to do, just to thrive amongst the living. But then it starts to take a toll. And that's when you fall and begin to slowly drift apart from friends and family, shutting everyone out. God, Elena, what took you so long? I mean, I know you're not a morning person, but still. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, you wouldn't believe the night I had last night. Really? Yeah. Matt and I went out, and when I got home, my mom was practically yelling at me for no reason. Wow. Yeah. You look terrible, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, would either of you like something to drink? Oh, and uh, Kayla, you're staying in again, I take it? I'll take an ice water, and yes, I'm staying. There you are. So, Lena, how are you feeling today? Isn't it obvious? She looks and feels like shit. Elena? Wow, really? I thought about hurting myself last night. And how did that make you feel? I tried so hard not to. Everything was going fine for once. I wasn't dwelling on the sadness until I got home and I was alone and everything came rushing back. What came rushing back? The feelings I get, they suffocate me. Everything just replays in my head, but... But? Hurting myself reminded me that I can feel through the numbness. Feel like I was in control. In control of what? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You have nothing to be ashamed of. I don't want to feel like this anymore. Lena, since we last talked, when we were talking about these intense, dark emotions, it, it seems to me like this might be developing, possibly, into persistent depression. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Because I'm here, Kayla's here, we're here to help you. Well, I'll see you next week then. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You don't have a mental illness. What's wrong with being sad sometimes? Well, it isn't exactly normal to hurt yourself now, is it? Yeah, you always say that, and I've always been here for you. Are you saying I'm wrong now? I didn't say that. I'm not okay, and I get that now. Don't be an idiot. You're fine. Stop telling me how I should feel. All you do is tear me down and talk about yourself. Stop it, Alina. You're not helping. Just leave me alone. Fine. Do it. You don't have a mental illness. What's wrong with being sad sometimes? Don't do it. Stop telling me how I should feel. Just don't. You look do terrible, it. by the way. Don't do it. Don't be an idiot. You're fine. Stop telling me how I should feel. Don't do it. You don't have a mental illness. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Don't do it.
One in five children ages 13 to 19 have or will have a serious mental illness. You are not alone.